The nation tries to decide between Trump and Clinton. The presidential decision has already been made on the campus of the University of West Florida. Martha Saunders was selected last month to take over next year for retiring Judy Benz. Today we spoke with the president-elect and got her thoughts about the future of the university. She remains West Florida's provost, but come the new year, Martha Saunders will be the new president at UWF. She was selected over three other finalists last month. Nine for uh, Dr. Saunders. I was happy and, and humbled and uh, thrilled. And confident she was the right choice for the school. I have a 20-something year history with this university. I was on the faculty here for 18 years. I was a dean here. I moved on. Uh, had successes every place I went and came back and have already made a contribution in four years. I think uh, people know me. Saunders says when she left UWF after 18 years in 2002, she knew that someday she and her family would be back in Pensacola. We kept our house. We knew we would be back. Uh, this was home. Uh, this is where we love. This is where we raised our children. This will be Saunders' second tenure as a university president, having spent five years leading southern Mississippi. She arrived in Hattiesburg right after Katrina hit the Mississippi coast and right as the recession was hitting. She resigned unexpectedly in 2012, but says she's proud of what she accomplished at Southern Miss. We got busy, and we set big goals, and we knocked it out of the park. And it got to a place, though, where I had done all that I could do. Despite now more than two decades at UWF, Saunders says there's still plenty on her plate as she looks to the future for the school. I certainly see enrollment growth. I see uh, growth in, in our research. Establishing uh, uh, programs of excellence or preeminent programs would be something that I'm going to be leaning on pretty quickly. Uh, and I also would like to see us really uh, increase our online presence. Saunders' contract is still being finalized. The university board recommended a three-year deal with a total compensation package nearing a half million dollars a year.